Welcome to yoga today. It is a gorgeous day in Seattle today. The sun is out. I have a view of Puget Sound out my window here, which is, I feel so fortunate to have that. And the, the Olympic Mountains are also out there. And today there's snow all over the top and the sun is shining brightly on them. And it's just really beautiful. The temperature today is 80 on my, temp on my thermometer outside, which is unbelievable. So I'm going to have <clears throat> a, an energetic practice today. Uh, we'll be starting standing and we'll be doing some pranayama, breathing and moving all the different parts of the body as we always do. And we'll end with a nice savasana as well. And then when we're done, I'm going to pack up my car and go kayaking today with my kayak for the first time in about six years. So I'm really excited. So please join me. We are going to start off with this wonderful poem. This poem is by Wendell Berry. And I love, I love the message of it and it's just perfect for these days of during our quarantine time. So just sit nice and tall, listen. You can close your eyes. You can begin to connect into how the body's feeling. You can begin to do some breathing, some expanding of the belly and filling the lungs and then exhaling all that air by pressing in and squeezing the air out your belly. Wendell Berry. I go among trees and sit still. All my stirring becomes quiet around me like circles on water. My tasks lie in their places where I left them, asleep like cattle. Then what is afraid of me comes and lives a while in my sight. What it fears in me leaves me, and the fear of me leaves it. It sings, and I hear its song. Then what I am afraid of comes. I live for a while in its sight. What I fear in it leaves it, and the fear of it leaves me. It sings and I hear its song. After days of labor, mute in my consternations, I hear my song at last and I sing it. As we sing, the day turns. The trees move. I love that. Maybe we'll do some yoga dancing during our class and move like the trees might move or the water might move. <laughs> All right. So let's begin today standing, please, on your mat. And we want to have our feet right underneath our hips our toes wide and let's just begin by rolling the shoulders lifting up pressing back lowering down and bringing them forward inhaling and then exhaling through that circle inhale and exhale moving slowly with your breath And just getting in touch with the shoulders, getting in touch with the neck and noticing. Let's reverse the direction. Both ways, inhaling and exhaling. Allowing your body to follow the breath. And then we come back to center. Let's shake it out a little bit shake 
the body, shake the hips, let the arms be loose, let the head shake a little. We're just getting a little juiciness in the joints when we do this. Let's exhale and bend the knees and hinge forward into a forward fold. Just notice how this feels right now. Let your head drop down, the crown of the head reaching towards the floor. Not trying to press or force anything here, I'm just allowing. Notice how the shoulders can relax. If you bring yourself, your torso up high enough that your hands can move freely, then you'll feel that relaxing with gravity. And then we can bring our hands to our hips and we can hinge back up to standing. Good. Let's circle the arms up and reach and exhale. Inhale a nice deep breath. When, we, when our hands come together, we're at the top of our breath. And then we exhale, allowing the hands to follow the breath. At the end of our exhale, where we've squeezed the air out, our hands come together. Then we inhale. The hands touch at the top of the inhale and we exhale. Hands touching at the bottom of the exhale. Good. Let's do a couple more. Inhale. This time we're going to swan dive forward into a forward fold. And we're sweeping back up, pressing into the feet and reaching tall. And exhale down. And inhale up. Let's grab our left wrist and reach up and over, lifting through the whole left side of the body, feeling stretched through the rib cage, breathing, noticing how we feel. Remember that we let go of expectations and judgments and competitions during our practice. We breathe and we concentrate on that breath, staying in the moment. And inhale back up. So we've switched both sides of our arms here. And let's just sweep the arms around and work into the shoulders a little bit. And let's go the other direction. Moving back as far as you're able, opening through the heart. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling as the arms lower down. <sighs> Let's bring our hands to the heart now. And we'll close our eyes. Just take a little scan of your body right here. Feel the feet on the floor engaged, spreading the toes and feeling the heel pressed in as well. Letting go of tension through the shoulders and the neck. Feeling joints stacked and lined up. We're going to circle the arms up and inhale. Hands come together and this time we sit back into chair pose. The first few, maybe you bring your hands here to your heart. Inhale, circle up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So when we sit in our chair, we pretty much bring our knees over the ankles so they're not leaning too far forward over the feet. They might be slightly over the ankles. And 
And then if you would like a little bit more intensity here, up to you, reaching with your hands and sitting back down into chair with extended arms. Let's breathe here and hold. You can always bring your hands back to your heart. Breathing. Circling the arms down, lifting up, inhaling, exhaling, sitting back in chair. Releasing down, inhaling, lifting up. Let's bring the hands back to the heart again. And just pausing here. Noticing how the body feels. It's always good after you've done a few movements to kind of pause and take note of how the body's reacting, how you're feeling, and allowing that information to let you know what you might want to do next. What does your body feel like doing, right? We're going to come now into a wide stance. And our feet are going to be placed pointing out to corners. We're going to circle sweep up the arms, reaching tall. And then exhale, bend knees and hug elbows in to rib cage. Inhale up and exhale, bend. Warming up the legs and the hips and the shoulders here in Moonflower. A deep lunge or squat actually is a squat. And you can modify that if it's not, if you don't want to go too deep, just bend your knees a bit. The next time we reach up, we're going to hinge at the hip with a flat back, scoop up the flowers on the floor and toss them into the garden. Exhale, scoop and press and scoop and press. Reaching tall, feeling our feet pressing in and holding us strong. Lots of energy moving up through the legs, into the hips, and up the spine. Moving and breathing with your movement. This is sunflower. Let's move back to moonflower. We just continue to warm up, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, keeping the heat in the body. Preparing us for moving into some stronger practice. Standing poses, perhaps. And we exhale. So alternating this in however you would like, from moonflower here, with our elbows at our waist and exhale into sunflower, hinging down with a flat back, moving at your pace, enjoying your body, energizing, warming it all up. I think this is exhausting Sam, my dog here, because he's just completely relaxed <laughs> good and then let's come all the way down to the floor if you have a block you could place a block on the floor you can make your feet a little wider if you'd like and let's bring the feet so that they are parallel to the ends of the mat now, as opposed to pointing outwards. Hands can be on the block, or they can be down here 
on the floor, and we're going to let our head drop down. Feeling a nice stretch through the inner thigh. Then placing the hand either on the floor or on the block, we're going to take our right hand down right underneath our nose. We're going to sweep the left arm up and reach up towards the ceiling, looking up. Exhale that hand back down. Place the left hand on the block or on the floor and sweep up with the right hand. And release down. Let's do that again. We're going to alternate on each side a few times. Coming back down, sweeping up. Inhaling and exhaling. Last time on this side. Let's allow the head to drop down again. Let the neck be long and relaxed. Shake it no and yes. We're going to walk our hands over to our left leg. Just get a little extra stretch here. Your hands can come onto your leg if you'd like, or you could bring your blocks over to this foot. Support your hands. So you're getting a stretch on this straight left leg. Uh, if you can straighten it, <clears throat> you get a bigger stretch. If you need to keep it slightly bent, that's fine. You find what works for your body. Breathing into this stretch. Bending that knee again, we're going to walk our hands around from the center over to the other side. And my, <clears throat> I'm pointing my foot out just slightly instead of parallel to the to the end of the mat. I'm pointing it again more at an angle. And then I'm finding where this stretch feels good. Straightening my right leg. Breathing. Bending that knee, coming back into center. Let's hinge forward one more time, letting our head drop down. <clears throat> our feet now are parallel to the ends of the mat, and we're allowing the head to drop and feel the stretch through the inner thigh. we walk our hands back up. Let's walk our feet back in <clears throat> underneath our hips and we can slide the hands up standing tall. Let's take a moment here with our eyes closed to just feel how the body feels now in this upright position. Maybe we feel a little tingling in different parts. Maybe a little bit more energetic uh, in our heartbeat or our breathing. Good. Let's stand at the top of our mat now. And I'm going to bring my blocks with me. Just I like to use blocks for different poses to support me. 
from here, we can bring our hands either to the waist or to our heart, and we're going to step back into warrior one with our left foot. So we step back about three feet, perhaps, place our, the ball of our foot on the floor, and then lower the outside edge of that foot down onto the mat, and then turn towards the front knee. And we bend this front knee, and just feel our connection here to the floor. Our hands can be on the waist right now. They could be at our heart if you'd like. We'll eventually raise the hands up here into warrior one. Gazing up at the hands. If this is a little bit too much for shoulders or you're healing your shoulders, you can bring your hands down into cactus arms. We'll still gaze up, lowering shoulders down away from ears. Even if we're here, our shoulders don't have to be up and squeezed up against the ears. We'll lower them down. Now breathing here, we feel our balance. If you're feeling wobbly, you might want to widen your stance a little by just walking to out towards the edge of your mat with your right foot, and that'll make your stance a little wider for your hips. That usually will help create some more stability. Good. Let's hinge forward over that right leg and reach the arms back. And inhale and lift up. And exhale, reaching back like airplane. Inhaling up. And we'll bring our hands back to our heart. Let's step forward, back into standing mountain pose. Notice the difference between your right side and your left side at this point. Notice how it feels. It may feel a little uneven right now. So we're going to go to the other side. You can stay at that same side if you are on that same end. I'm going to turn this way so you can see me on the camera. So this time we'll prepare to step back about three feet with our right foot balancing on our left foot. So let's find our balance first. We're going to do this slowly. You can bring your hands to your waist or to your heart if you'd like. And here we lift this right foot off of the mat. We send it back as we balance, plant the ball of the foot on the mat, and then press the outside edge of that foot down into the floor, feeling the whole right foot planted on the floor. And then we bring our hips facing forward to our left knee. Our knee is bent. Long, tall spine, standing tall. And depending on where your arms are, we're going to sweep them up now, looking up. Remembering what I said about if you're feeling a little wobbly to just widen this left foot out just a slight bit and that will help support you. You can always have a chair in front of you if you need that, or a wall. You can use the wall as well. So we're breathing here, lifting the heart, 
and let's exhale and reach forward and then hinge back. So we're, hin we're hinging over the waist or the hip over the hips, excuse me. We're hinging forward at the hips and we're reaching back with our arms into like an airplane. Most, a lot of the weight is on our left leg, the front leg right now. And then we inhale and lift up, reaching. Exhale, reach back. Lowering the shoulders away from the ears, reaching back towards that far wall. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, reaching. Strong legs, strong bodies. Let's lift. Gazing towards the sky. Thumbs are reaching back like you're hitchhiking. And then from here, we're going to come down, hands to heart, and step forward again. Standing mountain. Let's just check in with ourselves. How do we feel? You've probably generated some heat in your body now. Good. From this place, standing on the end of your mat, we're going to step back again with our right foot and bring the foot parallel to the end of the mat. Okay. Our body is going to be facing the front or I guess it's the side of the mat. It's the front of my mat, but it's the side of your mat. And we're going to reach the arms out from one end to the other. And let's gaze over our left fingertips. Our left knee is tracking over our left toes. Our inner thigh is open here. We're feeling a little bit of a stretch in here. We're feeling a nice little stretch here at the hip flexor. Our back foot is parallel to the mat. We feel very grounded here in warrior two. Let's breathe as we exhale, bring that hand to the left one and then open it out again. We'll keep our eyes gazing over the left hand as the right one moves back and forth. Inhaling as we open, exhaling as we close. Staying stable in the upper body and the hips. Reaching out. This time we're going to lower the right hand down onto the hip or the thigh, excuse me. Turn the front arm up and lift up into reverse warrior. As we gaze up into, towards the right palm of the hand, imagining glitter or light pouring over us. And we come back into warrior two. Let's allow the left arm to come down to the thigh and we're going to sweep the right arm up. Now we don't want to, we don't want to let go of the hip here and just sag into this left arm. So we stay strong through the left knee. We press in with the left forearm and we reach up, lengthening even taller. Good. Gazing up. And if you'd like, you can reach that arm over your head for even a bigger stretch over the right rib cage, the right side of the body. When you take a nice deep breath in, you'll feel the stretch in those ribs. One more deep breath here. And 
And then let's inhale and come back up. We're going to bring the hands back down and step forward the front of our mat. Good. Prepare now to balance on your left leg. So we're going to lift or bend our right knee, balancing on our left leg, stepping back here about three feet, place your foot down and let's bring the foot parallel to the back of your mat. The front knee is going to have a nice bend on it and we're going to reach the arms out into warrior two. Okay. We feel lengthened here, shoulders are dropping away from our ears. We feel our strong legs supporting us, engaged muscles in the legs. And then let's move with our breathing. So we're going to exhale and bring that back hand, touch the front hand and inhale and open. Exhaling and inhaling at your pace, moving with your breath. Full, complete breaths. Nice, big exhale, squeezing the old air out and inhaling, filling the lungs. We're staying nice and stable in the body. So we're not wiggling or losing our uh, muscle coordination here. Okay. Let's release that right hand down and we're going to turn the front palm up and lift and look up at the hand. Imagining cascading light that just fills the body from your hand. And then we inhale and stretch that out once again to warrior two. Bringing the left forearm down to the left knee now. Pressing in and, and lifting up here through the left arm, left shoulder. And on this side, we can reach the right arm up to the ceiling, gazing up. Breathing. We have a nice stretch through the hip flexor here on the right side. Feeling an inner thigh stretch on the left. Moving or feeling the breath moving in the body. On the inhale and the exhale. We can even reach our arm over the head if you'd like. And you feel even a bigger stretch through the right side of the body. All the way through the hip side ribs, breathing, enjoying this wonderful stretch. And let's lift up, come back to warrior two. We're going to bring the hands to our heart and we're going to step forward again. Good. Let's just take a pause here. Notice. And we'll release the hands. I'm going to walk to the other end of the mat. You can just turn if you'd like. So we'll do our warrior two on this side as well. So preparing by bending the left leg and even the right leg too. We're balancing on the right foot. Extending the left toes back out about three feet and then planting that foot parallel to the back of the mat. The front knee here tracks over the middle toes. Okay, and then we can reach the arms out on either side. Think about your shoulders, relaxing any tension up here. You can wiggle them a little if you want to. Soften in there a little bit. Good crown of the head reaching to the ceiling and then we can breathe here by exhaling touching the front hand inhaling filling the lungs as we open the arm exhaling and inhaling 
moving at your speed of your breath and which that could be very different than what mine is. But when we follow the breath, when our mind listens to the breath, then it brings us into the present moment as opposed to into thinking about future and past events. Let's release that left hand down. Turn the front palm up and we're going to reach up and back. Very nice. Cascading light or cascading glitter over the head. <laughs> and reaching back out again. Let's bring the right forearm down to the right thigh and we're going to reach up the left hand. Breathing, gazing up at the upper arm or you could look down and stay a little more grounded with your eyes looking down at the floor or your front foot. Either way, more of an uplifting feeling looking up or more grounding feeling looking down. Breathing here. We could even reach that left arm across and over the head, getting a big stretch through the left rib cage. So we continue to breathe and focus on the breath. And inhaling, if we come up, warrior two once again. And then let's step forward, hands at our heart. And we're going to just pause here and notice. Notice how you feel. Notice how your feet feel on the floor. Notice any areas of your body that have been worked with, that have been opened up a little bit perhaps, or stretched. Good. From here, Let's circle, sweep the arms up. Feel the feet firm on the mat. Swan and dive forward into a forward fold. Let's let the head drop down here. Hi, Sammy. Let your head shake no and yes. And just enjoy this forward fold. We can bend the knees, lowering the hips down a little ways, and then straighten the legs. And bend and straighten. Back and forth. And then from here, let's step back with both feet, plant the hands on the mat, and we come into Downward Facing Dog. Paddling the feet, stretching through the backs of the legs. Sending hips high, dropping heart down. Lifting up on both feet, on the balls of both feet, heels high. And then press both heels down towards the mat. Perhaps they touch, perhaps they don't, that's fine. Lifting up again onto the balls of the feet. Keep your hips high, pressing back. And lower back down again with the heels. 
And then I invite you to come down onto your knees and sit back into a child pose. And let's bring our knees wide. So we have a wide-legged child pose. Feet are touching behind us, knees wide on the mat. And if you have a block, you could bring a block down for your head, or you could place your head on the mat, or even on your stacked hands. And we sit back and just enjoy how this feels. Nice big inner thigh stretch, groin stretch. Lengthening through the spine. And let's rock the head just gently right over that third eye area, pressing into either the mat or a block or even your hands. Rocking left and right gently, massaging that area. Releasing any tension. Letting go of stress. Letting the body slow down. Good. We'll put the block out to the side. And I'd like to ask you to come down onto your backs now. And bend the knees. The arms can be at a comfortable angle. Palms up for a few moments here. Feel the shoulder blades wide on the mat. Taking a deep inhale and exhale, relaxing on that exhale. Letting go of any of the holding, of the gripping. Allowing for just a few moments to have your spine soften into the floor. We're going to bring both knees in towards the chest and place our hands over our kneecaps and pull them in slightly and then release them out a little bit just to the length of your arms, hands over kneecaps. Bend your elbows, draw the knees in and straighten the elbows. Feel the massage in the very low back, right around the sacrum area. We'll do that a few times. And then with our hands, we're going to guide the knees open and then come back around into the center for a circle. Guide them open, circle around, come back. Getting a little bit of uh, um, looseness perhaps in our our hip area. And the other direction, we're going to turn. And then let's place the feet towards the ceiling and rotate the ankles. Shake the legs, shake the ankles. Do a little combination rotation, shaking. We're, we're supporting our legs with our hands. Let's press the heels towards the ceiling and then point the toes and press and point back and forth. Stretching through the front of the leg and then through the back of the leg in this way. Shake it up. Bring the hands up to the ceiling, towards the ceiling, and shake the hands. Let them be kind of loose. Let the feet be loose as you shake them. Let the whole body begin to kind of move on the mat with shaking. Loose 
jello-like. <laughs> ah, and let's release down, feet on the mat, hands down and just enjoy how that felt. Bring our hands back behind our neck and inter interlace your fingers to just support the head. Elbows are wide. And we're simply going to lift the head straight up. Just the tips of the shoulders will come off of the mat and lower down and press up and lower down. And as we do that, we're squeezing in the belly squeezing. We feel the low back press into the mat as we lift up. Doing some core work here. Squeezing, lifting. And then we can release down. Notice how we feel. Take a little moment. Pause. We're going to bicycle our legs so our left elbow moves towards our right knee and our left leg goes straight. And we bicycle the other side in. Back and forth. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Keep breathing. And we'll come back to the floor again. Relaxing arms, relaxing feet. We're going to reach the arms out to the side now and lift the knees once again. Place the knees and the ankles together here. And we're going to roll the knees over to the right side as we stay centered on the mat. So the shoulders, in other words, stay on the mat and our legs hover over the right side of the floor. Then we inhale back to center and then we press over to the left and hover. If you'd like to bring your head the opposite direction of your knees, you can look that way or simply look straight up at the ceiling. Inhale back to center and all the way over to the right. Turning your head if you choose to. And let's continue doing this as you will. Back and forth. And we're going to come back into our center, relax the feet down, relax the arms out, maybe at an angle with your palms up. Close your eyes, just pause here. And I invite you to cover yourself with a blanket if you would like for some final relaxation, letting the body soak in all the goodness from your practice, all the energizing, the grounding, the breathing. de-stressing the body as we relax here completely. 
taking a scan through the feet, the th- calves behind the knees, up into the hips, relaxing the hips, softening the tummy, and relaxing the low back and the middle back, the rib cage, the upper back and shoulders, the shoulder blades are relaxed into the floor. Your collarbone is wide. You relaxed your throat and allowed the tongue to rest in the mouth, the bottom of the mouth. Your jaw is loose and your cheeks are soft. Our eyes are closed and maybe they're rolled back in their socket. being the observer of your body, the observer of the sensations that are coming up for you. Being the witness of what's happening right now for you. We begin to wiggle our fingers and our toes, coming back into the body, rolling onto our side, and eventually making our way to a comfortable seated place to close class. bring our hands to our heart and we can think of gratitude today, something we can be grateful for. Maybe it's the beautiful weather where you are, or your family that you are close to. Whatever it is, just express that gratitude. Let it shine in your heart. Let it expand in the heart. And I hope this has prepared you to take on your day with energy and joy like it has mine. Namaste. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I so appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel and send me a a comment. I would love to hear from you. Bye-bye.